Good day, Stafford. I'm Rick Stockwell, filling in for Samantha Burns, who's feeling a bit under the weather. Samantha, we're all dying to have you back with us, and we wish you a speedy recovery. With that, let's head on down to Jean Porter, who has news about the alarming increase of wait time at Stafford Memorial Hospital. Jean, what can you tell us about this developing situation? Jean! Jean! Kill me. Chef, I, 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 I need you to stay late. Well, now, I, I have a note from the principal here. Some kids are going to be staying after, and you need to give them sustenance. Do you understand? Uh, thank you for your cooperation. <clears throat> Glad you're here. Come here, come here, come here. I'd like to show you what we're doing here. Yeah. Okay, now first off, everything is fragile. Glad so you could join us. Come on in, please. Please come in. You too. Come on. I haven't got all day. I don't want to be here all evening. I, I want to get this assignment done. You too, Misty. Come on. Get over here. Uh, pay attention. 
Okay, now this is your assignment. I want to get this done this evening. This is the rap maze. I've got several pieces here. So, the fatter one is Ginger? Essentially, yes. I've nicknamed the more sedentary one Ginger and the more active one Fred. You know, smooth moves like Fred Astaire. I think Ginger might be a dude, too. Ew! Actually, they're both female. Nice observation skills, Bull. Hey, wasn't Ginger Rogers like Fred Astaire's dance partner or something? Why is she the sedentary one? So misogynistic. We can change the names if you want to. Whatever. Listen, Frankie, let's just not get too caught up in the names. The important thing is that we can observe their behavior and so we can see how their lifestyle affects their cognitive ability. Put your money on the active one, boys. We all know it's survival of the fittest, like Dagwood said. Don't Darwin! Whatever, freaks. It's a fact. It's always the strongest who survive in the end. <laughs> hey. Why are there three cages? Oh, there were actually three rats, but, uh, well, you see, Ginger, well, rat cannibalism is actually Ew, very... never mind. What? Dude, she ate the rat. Who? Frankie? No! No, no Ginger did. Oh, whatever. I didn't know I was signing up to babysit rats. Actually, Alexis, I specifically chose this because I thought it would be pretty easy for us to get this whoa, done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you saying that this was all your idea? Well, yeah, but this whole, the rats? Well, no, well, us? Okay. Well, on a Friday, okay. dude? Not tonight, but listen. <sighs> not come on, man. Okay. Oh, come on, not tonight, that's not what I meant. This is so lame. I can't believe it, but I actually agree with Lil Miss Pom Pom. Listen, guys, it's really not that bad, and it won't take that long. Besides, we know I'll be doing most of the work anyways. Now, if we can just get this done, you all can go back to living your very important lives. And how are we doing, my students? I see you've made some progress. Tell me, have you made any preliminary observations and hypotheses? There is a general consensus between us that the uh, more active of the two rats will have at least a slight advantage in cognitive testing. Yeah, what he said. And I've observed that the more active rats eat more, you know, like other rats. You can't fool me, students. You need to focus on your work. Now, you knew when you took up my class that the labs would require time to put in, and you waited to the last minute, and here you are. And now, it's on you. Now, no one, no one is leaving here tonight till I see preliminary results. Okay, yeah. Um, we better be done with this by like eight because I have a date tonight with Mason. Yeah, he's picking me up here, so. Whatever, okay? We just better be done soon. Let me be perfectly clear. No one leaves tonight until I see results. Understand? So no visitors tonight. What? You children are gonna be the death of me. No more distractions. No more phones. Hand them in. You're killing me, Smalls. Yours too? Seriously? Yes, ma'am. I don't want to be here all evening, and you all need to focus. Weird flex, but okay. Wow, thanks. That was smooth. Whatever. Okay, let's just let these disgusting things run around so I can go out tonight. I know you might not understand because it's not like you have anything else to do, Frankie. Ouch. Chill. Just because I'm not a cookie cutter Barbie doesn't mean I don't have a life. <laughs> a life? What would you know about a life? You think black is the new black? Hey, Alexis, how about you grab Ginger? It's about time we get a trial run. The carnival one? Cannibal. Mm. Yeah, sure, whatever. She looks hungry. I hope she doesn't bite me. Not like she can eat you. Yeah, but it can still bite, right? Hello, ratnip. 
That ain't nothing. My brother Dexter, now he's a freaking biter. We were fighting in the morning, and he really got me good. Check it out. <laughs> Thank you all for your stimulating discussion and hard work. And you, can you at least try to help out a little? We need to see how long it takes Ginger to get to her food. stomach I think I think I'm getting hungry man I wonder what they're making for dinner so like how many more of these rat maze things do we have to do before we can just like name a winner and get out of here well, unfortunately, there hasn't been a statistical difference between the two conditions yet. A statistical what? Simply put, we need to do more trials. And besides, we're out of food. So why don't you guys just take another five, and I'll go get more pellets. And just where do you think you are scurrying off to? Oh, well, I was running to get more rat food so we can do some more trials. And Wait, where's that odd-looking girl, uh... Francine. Well, she really prefers to be called Frankie, and I don't know, sir. Uh, perhaps the bathroom? I mean, I... Well, speak of the she-devil. I can't have you running around the school at night. Now, you need to tell me if you ever need to leave the lab for whatever reason. Like, to go get a pizza? No, sir. Absolutely not. Until you're done, I'm responsible for you. And as such, no one is to leave this school for whatever reason. As for your sustenance, I've asked the cook to remain behind to prepare your dinner, which should be ready sometime soon. So I must ask you to stay on task. Only a proper lab report, which characterizes the experiment, will be accepted. What a douche. So, okay, anyway, about the cook, I went to the kitchen to see what was for dinner. You're welcome, Bull. And the cook was just standing in the middle of the room staring at the wall, like a statue. Really freaky. Nothing's cooking. So then I ask him what's for dinner, and he just shushes me and gives me this really chilling look. Soul piercing, really. You are so dramatic. Whatever, it was weird. Like serial killer weird. I just thought it was best to get out of there before he decided to put me on the menu. I think Bull has the right idea. Order takeout. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Another fascinating story, really. But guys, we just need to get back to work here. And besides, I'm sure there's a logical explanation for as to why all of this is going on. It's just adults can be odd sometimes, right? Anyways, we need to do more trials. I'll go get more rat pellets. Kids. What are you doing in here? Kitchen's closed. 
Can't you see I'm busy? I am. I just. I heard. I just. I was just wondering what what, what time dinner is. Dinner will be ready when I say it's ready. I'll go back to playing with your little rat friends. Right. Uh, I guess I'll just leave you to it then. Bye. Oh, hey Oz. We're getting better numbers from Fred. I think yeah. you would say we're starting to see a statistical difference. So I see you brought the rat food. Yeah. Oh. But man, when do we get to eat? Funny you should say that, Bolt. I actually uh, bumped into the cook, and Frankie's right. He's clinically insane. And besides, I saw what he's making for dinner, but I'm not so sure we're gonna wanna eat. <laughs> well, it better not be loaded with carbs. One of us has got to watch her figure. Listen, I'm not so sure about the carbohydrate content. I'm not even sure if it's fit for human consumption. Oh, come on, Oz. It can't be that bad. At least he didn't try to kill you. <laughs> All I'm saying is that what I saw in there would make this stuff look tasty. Let's just look at that. Okay, so show me what's going on in here. Yeah, so you said you saw different numbers, clear numbers for Fred. Within, okay, so Fred's numbers are clear to me. Yeah, Maybe sorry. Um, I wrote their behaviors, their numbers, like it's all right here under the phone call. Excuse me, <clears throat> this is on. Uh, student, please proceed in an orderly fashion to Lab B and enjoy your freshly prepared sustenance. Thank you. Dude, are you sure you don't want to finish that? Because I could totally eat it. Ugh, you are such a pig. Seriously, dude, that's disgusting. That food is so gross. It's probably left over from the 80s. I was thinking. I mean, look at us. I think maybe Professor Romero is doing an experiment on us. You know, trying to see if we'll eat this stuff. Who knows what's in it? Just look at this food. This room. Our rats trapped in a maze project. I think Sure, Frankie. Da -na 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 -da -na -na -na. Conspiracies much? No, I'm serious. Of course you are. Have you ever noticed how he kind of just lurks around Watches us? I think maybe, just maybe, we're his rats in here. Come on, man. Like I said, I don't think this stuff is suitable for human consumption. Huh. Well, if that's the case, Bull's safe. Even so, I think he's had enough. Anyways, we should probably get going so we can finish our experiment and just get out of here and get some real food. <laughs> Oh, MG Bowl. Oh, that is so noxious. I I don't think I should have eaten that much. I think I overdid it. No dip, Sherlock. We should really go. Dude, again? I don't feel so good. I gotta go take a dump. <laughs> How could he be so stupid? I gotta admit, I'm not a picky eater, but that stuff was not food. Speaking of eating, did you guys realize that Ginger isn't eating that much anymore? Even after she goes through the maze, she still isn't even touching her treat. Do you think maybe she had too much to eat? I didn't realize you were paying that much attention, but... <laughs> yeah, I've noted Ginger's behavior in our logs, and it's difficult to tell whether she's not eating because she's not hungry, or if something else is causing her lack of appetite. <laughs> I think Bull's noxious fumes are contributing to my lack of appetite. 
Where is the fat boy? Why can you not just all stay together? Oh, uh, uh, Bull, he wasn't feeling well, so he went to the restroom. I, I think he might have indigestion. You tell Mr. Bull. I want to see him when he returns. I will be waiting in my office. Yes, Professor. Come on, you guys. You've got to admit, Professor Romero is a bit strange. I think he pays more attention to our behavior than the experiment. I hate to agree with anything that Vampyra says, but the professor is a bit odd. <sighs> Nice one, Frankie. Alexis, I look, I'm sure it's just... Student, I need you to go to the basement workroom immediately. Grab everything and go now. Go! Frankie, the professor needs us to get down there, so can you please just help? I am helping Oz. Can we just go, please? Oh, Mason. I'm not ready to die yet. I'm not ready to kill you. Yet. I can't see anything. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Mason. I was able to with Mason. Yeah. Thank oh, God. Can you quit going on and on now? Guys, enough. Can we just get down to the workroom? My arms are about to fall off. Why is it so dark and like, oh my gosh, just chill. Watch the corner. Watch the corner. Mason. All right, this is good. Let's set our stuff down. What? Are gonna keep doing this stuff down here? Don't you think something crazy is happening out there? Do you really think that Professor Strange is worried about us finishing this project? Anymore? I don't know, I don't know, I just don't know. All I know is that Professor Romero needs us to finish our project, okay? Don't you mean your project? This whole rat maze thing was all your idea. And if you ask me, you are just as weird as he is, Oz. I'm so done with this shit. Hey, Alexis, you signed up for this class too and it requires lab work, okay? So I'm sorry if that makes you late for your stupid date or whatever, but it's not my fault that the power went out and we're stuck down here. So can you please just help get Ginger ready for her next run, okay? No, Frankie, so I see. That was upstairs. Guys, what do you want me to do? Because it's just you and me now. Ah! You dirty. Where are you? <laughs> Don't you look! When I find you, I'm going to personally feed you to the other rat! Kitchen. Hello? Man, this place is getting creepy right a minute. Hey, Oz, check this out. Do you think this is blood? Hard to tell. Maybe the chef cut himself or cut one of those rats he was chasing. There are rats running around in here? I mean, I don't know. That's what the chef said, though his objective awareness is questionable. At any rate, I'm sufficiently creeped out by now. We should probably get back to the basement, wrap it up, and get out of here. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Rats! Blood! Crazy cooks! Oh my! Alexis, you'll never believe what we just... Oh my god, what happened to your finger? Where's Bull? He come back yet? <sighs> uh... I, I don't know. No, hey, that rat Ginger? 
bit my finger. And, well, she ran off somewhere. Oh, oh no. no. She's gotta be around here somewhere. I keep listening, trying to hear her scratching or whatever. Well, we have to find that rat before Professor Romero finds out, or this whole night will have been for nothing. Oh, no. No, I'm not doing this crap with you guys again. No offense. We're just gonna have to find Ginger. What's going on in here? Huh? I keep hearing rustling out there. Wait a second. Have you all been wondering about? I brought you down here for a reason. Where is that bull? I swear I heard him sulking around upstairs. Uh, so, Professor, we actually just finished the observation phase of our uh, experiment, and we just need to collect the data and write a report. Why? What's going on? Oh, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, that. Uh, nothing to worry about, children. Uh, there was a uh, vehicular accident outside a, a, a power pole. Hit the car and caught it on fire. <laughs> I thought it would be more prudent and safe if you were down here, away from the windows. You know, for safety purposes. But you're safe and all is well, you may resume. Still unhappy about Bull. Send him to me when you see him. And hurry this up, wrap it up. I, I, I don't know how long the generator will last and I don't want to be around when the backup power runs out of juice. Yes, yes, of course, of course, Professor. You've got to find Ginger. Sure, but I don't know if I believe what the professor was saying about what's going on. Guys, hey, my hey, finger. Shh, shh. Stop. Shh. Do, you, do you hear that? No, you what? Shh. I caught the end of it and it can't be good. But maybe it's just Bull. You know, Frankie, we should probably go check up on him. You stay here and look for Ginger. You see what's up with Bull, I'm gonna go get the rat. <laughs> Professor Romero, is that you? Are you okay in there? Ha, <laughs> 
saw bull but he he had turned into some sort of a i don't know a, a, a zombie. zombie this is impossible from what i've seen and smelled tonight i certainly think it is how could this happen I, I... do you think this was all part of the professor's twisted experiment on us i mean do you think he had the cook do it maybe it was in that awful food that stuff was really nasty and bull was the only one who ate it yeah, perhaps, but Professor Romero was mumbling something about how someone bit him, and maybe that was Bull. He did seem sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you're right. Carmen's a bitch. Oh, and Professor Ratso, he was in his office moaning, you know, like a zombie. Maybe it was him or Bull who bit Alexis, took a big chunk right out of her face. Oh my god. I don't think she's gonna make it. We gotta get out of here. There's the professor and, and Alexis too? I, I don't I, understand. I, I'm sorry, Oz. I'm sorry. Maybe it wasn't the professor or the food. You know, uh, Alexis was bit. Maybe it has something to do with that. And Bull, he was saying that his little brother bit him this morning too. It just, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I just... Regardless, we've got to get out of here before the zombies or whatever it is try to snack on us, too. Let's just go. Yeah. Oh, wait, what, a, what about the cook? Oh, Shouldn't um, we, like, be Well, here? the thing is, I don't think he's going to make it. When I walked in on Bull, he was munching on what, what looked like the cook's arm. Ooh. I... Yeah, I think we're on our own here. We should just get out of here. Wait, I don't know if you've noticed, but brilliant Professor Zombified really did chain all the doors shut. Frick. Maybe we could go to his office and get his keys. Yeah. You have fun with that. That's easier said than done. Last I knew, Bitey McBitey Face was locked in his office and I ain't going back to check. There's gotta be another way out. How about the lower loading dock? We've loaded tons of sets through there before. Uh, well, I mean, wouldn't that be locked too? Yeah, but being a theater kid has its perks. We keep a spare set of keys backstage, you know, for all the after hours loadouts. <laughs> oh my god. I think I love you. <laughs> you know, in like a totally congenial sort of a kind of way. Um, so anyways, we should get going. <laughs> Here and get the keys. I'll go distract Bull and meet you at the dock. Hey, Bull! Come on, Come on! Over here! Come get me! Come on, Bull!
starting to realize that killing zombies isn't as easy as it seems in the movies. Luckily, they're super clumsy. Hey, are you okay? Let's just get out of here. For being such a douche, Professor. And for trying to take a bite out of me. Okay, I'm good now. Let's go. broadcast system. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. Stay tuned for further instructions. This is not a test. <laughs> <laughs> 